Hello all, and welcome to another Let's Play. Today I delve into a most awesome series. In fact, probably my favorite series. <laughs> my name is Roskiro, and today we are delving into Mother! Yes, the best RPGs I have ever played, and quite arguably my favorite games of all time. I have never beaten Mother 1, but I am quite adept at Mother 2 and 3, and they're both awesome. 3, of course, is the awesomest, but yes. Okay, name this boy. Well, I have to go with my... I probably should go with Ninten, and I feel like I should, but... Roscar, because that's the male equivalent of my name. Yes, Roscar the Barbarian. Lovely. What's your favorite food? Huh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to put. Usually I'd put like beefcake or something, but there's not enough. There's, it's so short. Um, one second while I plan this out. Hello, I'm back all, and after much deliberation, and I mean a lot of deliberation, I've decided to go with my second usual default, which is women. Lovely. So very lovely. Okay. Is this okay? No. Yes. Uh, uh. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow fell over a rural town in America. Shortly after, a ma married couple mysteriously vanished. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, George returned home, but never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. Instead, he deeply immersed himself in strange research. As for his wife, Maria, she never returned. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> 1988, outside the town of Mother's Day. Mother! D do I hear a name plug coming on? Okay, check. Roscoe opened the present and found an easy ring. Roscoe took the easy ring. Yes. Okay, so I've only played like the first couple of minutes of this game, so I haven't spoiled too much for myself yet. But let me tell you, this lamp, it's gonna come to life in a bit. And let me tell you, the first time it did that, well, I just like... I literally jumped when that happened, you guys, and, okay, I played Amnesia and Slender. I did not jump as bad as I did when that lamp started moving. Heck, I fought Gygus in Earthbound 2, and he's ten times creepier than a lamp, but I didn't jump. Ugh, dresser. I have a big head. Ugh. Leave. See, right about this part, I just started freaking out. Uh, okay, Roscoe. We will have to defeat this lamp that appears to have teeth. Okay, fight! Lamp attacks! Roscoe took one damage! Oh no! Roscoe! Smash! Lamp took four damage! Lamp destroy it! Lamp took two damage! Lamp stopped moving! You won! Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> the house is falling to pieces. Oh, protect the women! Okay, another freaking lamp. Go! Fight! Okay, uh, that was fast. Sister, you doing okay? Brother, it's like our house is about to fall apart. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry, little sister. I will fix that. She's my favorite sister. She actually stores crap for you. What do you have to say to me? Help! Okay, I'll beat up your freaking doll. Uh, Roscoe attacks. Doll took three damage. Doll attacks. Roscoe, no! Roscoe attacks. Doll took two damage. Man, this is a strong freaking... Smash that doll. Oh, crap, it smashed me. Get the doll! Destroy it! Make it bleed. If dolls can bleed, probably not. But attack the doll! Yeah! And I won. I defeated the doll. Uh, I love this game. The mysterious phenomenon has stopped for now. Ooh, that's 
kind of creepy. Ooh, that was scary. Oh, I think I see something inside the doll. Okay, let's go check out the doll. There's an old music box hidden inside the doll. Roscoe opened the music box. A broken melody began to play. That was, that was lovely. Roscoe learned the melody. Yes, I learned it by heart. Here's some juice, big brother. You must be pretty thirsty. Yes, indeed I am. You get very thirsty beating up your sister's dolls and some lamps and stuff. Hello, favorite sister. Here's some juice, big brother. You must be pretty thirsty. Well, thank you. I see you two are fighting for my attention with juice. And it will work. Let me. I love bribes, and I just went up and down. St oh, what a lovely living room we have. Ah, uh, no kitchen. Just the way a house should be. Hello, Mumsy! Are you okay, Roscoe? What on earth is happening to our home? I'm so scared. If only your father were here now. Oh my gosh! And the phone started ringing. Oh, the phone! Could you get it, Roscoe? The phone. The phone is ringing. The phone! I'll be right there. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble somewhere. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, Roscar picked up the telephone. Roscar, it's your dad. Oh, I see. Sounds like it must be some kind of poltergeist of some sort. Blah. Wacky situations. I'm not sure what to do about it either. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, indeed. But your great grandfather did study PSI at one point. Ah, oh, great grandfather. Yes. Perhaps there's something in the basement that could help make sense of things. Like your great-grandfather. I believe we locked him up there quite a few years ago. Thank you, father. I know I put the basement key somewhere, but I can't remember where. What a troll. Thank you for being a troll, father. Anyway, you're our only hope. Now is the time for an adventure. Go forth, Roscar. Protect us all. Oh, man, his dad... Sounds so much like me. I am Roscar's dad. It would only make sense. Okay. Hello, puppy dog. You understand animal talk, right? Then I'll give you a hint. Try checking me. Okay. Woof. I will do that, dog. A key to the basement is hanging from the dog's collar. Yes! Dad put the thing on the collar for some reason. Roscar took the basement key. Okay, let's check his doghouse. I am... I'm on top of the doghouse. How... I can't... No! Let me go! Stupid dog, you made me look bad. Okay. Let's check out this sign. Check. Roscoe's house. Well, technically it's my parents' house, but thank you for acknowledging that I live here. I have a... My house is a TARDIS, you guys. It is so much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Wow. I am Doctor Who. Okay. Uh, Mumsy. How are you doing, Mumsy? Oh, hello, favorite little sister. I'm Minnie. Can I help you? Uh, no. I don't have anything to store. Okay, then. Be careful out there. Yes. I will be careful for you, my favorite little sister. And I shall leave the reject sister upstairs. You're much braver than I ever imagined. Well, yeah, Mom. I'm super brave. But I can't send you on a journey so famished. I'll make you some women, Roscar. Yes! This sounds like a lovely idea. Eat some and scoot up to bed. That's, <laughs> that's so disturbing. Oh, my goodness. Come back home whenever you want some more women. It should have been beefcake. Should have been beefcake. It's locked. Well, I have a freaking key. Use it. Roscoe unlocked the door and went inside. I have a freaky basement. This is a scary basement, Roscoe. GGF's diary. Great grandfather's diary. I found it, and now I will know all of his secrets. All of the crushes he had. Cracked bat. Yes. Equipped the cracked bat. Do it. Yes. Use. I can't eat the freaking bat. 
That would be not good. Roscar opened the present, found bread. Roscar took the, <laughs> the bread that was sitting in the present inside the basement. <gasps> oh! Rat, suddenly it- Oh, darn you, rat! You will die! It bit me! I'm gonna have to get tetanus shot now. Oh, stupid freaking rat. Die. Yes. You were defeated today. <gasps> yeah, PSI moves. Thank you, great grandfather's diary. Okay. I probably want to store some crap now. Um. The basement key, I don't need that. Yeah, you better take good care of that, otherwise you won't be my favorite sister anymore. Let's go see the reject sister. She doesn't get to do crap. I'm Minnie. Don't mix me up with Minnie. Oh, I will mix you up with Minnie, because I hate you. Ugh, you didn't give me nearly enough juice, as she did. Ugh. Hello, Mumsy. Can you heal me up? Okay, yep. Uh, give me some women and I'll scoot off to bed and... Yeah, I'm scooting off to bed with some women. That's lovely. Come back home whenever you want some more women! Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Mumsy. This is, this is truly what a loving mother should do. Hello, puppy dog! How you doing? Something strange. Ever seen strange? Be sure to check all around. Got it, puppy dog. Good advice. Good, solid advice. Da, 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 da. Look at the grass. It kind of looks like it has eyes. That's kind of a creepy thought I got. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking redneck. I must be in Wisconsin. Ugh. Yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. And this happens on a regular basis. Random rednecks jump out from the grass and pitchfork me without notice, let's see. Yeah! He went back to normal! That's always a good thing. Uh, level up. Yep, 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 blah, blah, new PSI moves and whatnot. Okay, well, I'm gonna level myself up a bit, and then I will be right back. One second. <laughs> Dun 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 When you're fighting a centipede Make sure it doesn't kill you Cause then you'd be dead Ha 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 Centipede Song about a centipede He is wearing gloves and shoes Most centipedes don't wear those And the centipede wants to kill me But I say no way And I just defeated him That was a lovely song Snake suddenly attacked. Duh, duh, duh. It's a snake. It's a snake. It's gonna kill you with his fangs. Oh my gosh! Smash that snake! Kill him dead! That is good! 